Man, I'm glad to be here, man. I'm glad to be here. I told my dad I was coming down to Pasadena to do some comedy. Yeah, he looked at me and said, you know Sears is hiring. That's that good money, boy. <laughs> I was raised in a Christian family. And growing up, we was taught that having sex outside of marriage is a sin. And that's when I got engaged in the eighth grade, too. <laughs> Seventh grade, I was stressed. I got to find me a wife. <sighs> I heard social studies got hoes. I would bring girls home. My mom would be like, baby, who's your new friend? Like, no, mama, that's my fiance. Uh, I proposed in fifth period. <laughs> I'm a substitute teacher now, and uh, real teachers try to give me advice how to be a better instructor. I had to tell them, like, look here, I appreciate your advice, but I am trying to make rent. I'm not trying to make a difference. <laughs> I'm here till 2.30, forget these damn kids. I got little gangsters in my class, man. They be sagging their pants. I don't know if y'all tired of the kids be sagging their pants real low. I hate that. Yeah. You know? And you know what? It's my generation's fault. My generation started the sagging. You know, but my father's generation, man, he grew up in the 60s and the 70s. Them dudes did not sag back then. <laughs> nah, my dad was in a singing group. I saw some pictures, man. He was in a doo-wop group. Them dudes did not sag. His pants was pulled up. His pants was. He was on the corner singing, do up, talking about who's making love to your woman, lady? Why are you out making love? I say, a who? A who? A who? A who? 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 It's making love. He was not sagging. He had a switchblade in his back pocket right here. Afro pick on this side. He was not sagging. What's the next generation going to do, man? Every generation takes it farther. The next generation, they're just gonna be carrying their damn pants, just. <laughs> looking like a ghetto matador, yeah? 